heard fight. Who wants to fight? Uh, I heard fight. Who wants to get down? Nobody fight. wants to fight right now, uh, sweetie. I heard fight. it come out of... So let me take this from you so you don't hit nobody with it. Oh, no, I don't need to hit anybody. <laughs> honey, I don't have to win with my words. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 reality show fights. All right, I don't want to hear another word. Enough. Enough. You're all acting like a bunch of fools. For this list, we'll be looking at the best, most absurd, funniest fights that have ever graced the small screen world. If we missed any of your favorite spats, let us know in the comments below. Number 20, Snooki versus Angelina, Jersey Shore. It's no secret that Angelina wasn't exactly a house favorite during her time on Jersey Shore, and in season two, the last of her seasons on the show, her beef with other cast members continued to escalate. Yo, shut your mouth, you dirty little hamster. Her fight with Mike the Situation over her lack of cleanliness was one for the books, but nothing beats her and Snooki going to the mat, literally. Angelina was so close to making it out of the house without another confrontation, but Snooki just couldn't help herself. Standing in one corner, four foot nine, two inches with the poof. Snooki f to lose it. The two begin to roll around on the floor as they hit and scratch at each other. Luckily, the situation moved the table out of the way. Wouldn't want that to get messed up now, would we? I had to move the uh, table because it was getting real serious. I didn't want any, anything to happen to the table. You know what I'm saying? Number 19, Karen versus Natalie, Mob Wives. If you can't handle it, come at me. Ah, oh, famous last words. As you may be able to tell from the title, this reality show is about women who don't mess around when it comes to a fight. For my daughter, for my father, for every buddy that you spoke about, I will take a piece of you every time, bitch. Throughout the fifth season, Karen Gravano and Natalie Garcia are feuding constantly, all coming to a head when Natalie utters that infamous phrase. Karen immediately takes her at her word, and the two end up going balls to the wall in an all-out brawl. All I see is hands, laughs, right. The fight gets so bad that security has to step in to pull the two women apart. This is a big yikes, but definitely one of the series' most memorable scuffles. They get up, they're all scratched up, they hair all mangled. It was crazy. Number 18, Stephen versus Kristen. Laguna Beach, the real Orange County. If there's one thing Laguna Beach was gonna do, it was deliver on some good old-fashioned relationship drama. But something happened in the series' first season that has become a legend in reality television history, and that's Carbo. <laughs> During the gang's first night out on spring break, Stephen gets upset with Kristen for having what he deems a little too much fun. He doesn't exactly handle himself well, calling Kristen multiple rude names and being way too physical with her for our liking. We are gotta get out of here. Kristen, for her part, doesn't seem to be upset at all, laughing her way through the night and continuing to have a good time. What happens in Carbo stays in Carbo. It's so hard. I've had like the best times of my life and the worst times of my life. Number 17, Omarosa versus Janice. The surreal life. Neither Omarosa Manigault Newman nor Janice Dickinson are known for their tact. Oh no, I know how to chill, okay. but I will not be disrespected. So it makes sense that on VH1's The Surreal Life, tensions between the two were always running high. Things came to a head in the fifth season when that tension finally broke with the help of a knife. During a publicity photo shoot, Janice took one of the prop knives offered to the group and held it next to Omarosa's head. As you might expect, this did not sit well with the reality TV star. Things that things that you uh, that maybe in retrospect he goes, maybe I should have left when that happened. She went on to call Janice a high society crackhead, and the beef between the two only continued to escalate from there. You know that was really offensive to me. You know, I'm a member of the PTA. Number 16, Stasi versus Kristen. Vanderpump Rules. You are a you liar. You are a liar. You no one believes you. 
betrayal has a name, and it is Kristen Doughty. In the second season of Vanderpump Rules, Stacey Schroeder finds out that her so-called best friend Kristen cheated on her boyfriend Tom Sandoval with Jax Taylor, Stacey's ex. When did that happen, Jax? It happened the night that I picked her up, and then the first time was... When Tom uh, was at home. home. Not only did the two sleep together, but Jax admitted the two hooked up while Tom was asleep in the other room and while they were watching the movie Drive. Weird detail, yeah, but we think it's important. Sorry. 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 I did a lot of bad things. Stacy confronts Kristen about the betrayal, but Kristen refuses to own up. Finally, Stacy breaks, and so we get the slap heard around the world. Stop. What's that? You want the Number 15, Reagan versus Rachel. Big Brother. This doesn't have to be a miserable 24 hours. I'll make every minute of 24 hours miserable for you, Reagan. Well, back at you. Sometimes two reality stars fight so much, it's hard to pick just one battle royale. So is the case with Rachel Riley and Reagan Fox, two contestants on the 12th season of Big Brother. The two were contestants at each other's throats, and most of their confrontations involved Rachel insulting Reagan's sexuality while he tried to get her to leave him alone. Do you have to be the biggest bitch because you're gay? Is that what makes you No, happy? Rachel, I'm not a big bitch because I'm gay. I'm a big bitch because you're an absolute monster. The fights happen so often, they could be tiresome. But we did get some fun one-liners in the process, particularly from Reagan. Let's be real. The only thing honest about you is the pimples on your chin is a pretty stellar comeback. You're a wicked witch. Why don't you get on your broom and fly back inside? <laughs> <laughs> Number 14, Jocelyn and Stevie J versus Althea, Benzino and Tammy. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Another good reminder to watch your mouth when it comes to what you may think is an innocuous joke. It just might get you in trouble. What? 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 Don't do that with all these securities. Don't do that with all these securities. Yeah. Just do that out there. No, we do it right now. Yeah. During the season three reunion of Love and Hip Hop, a huge brawl broke out when Benzino made a quip insinuating that Stevie J and his wife Jocelyn Hernandez do drugs. Then you could say things escalated quickly. I did that! I did that! I did that! Stevie stood up to confront Benzino, but got stopped by security, allowing Jocelyn to scoot on by and sock one to Althea. Later, Jocelyn also went after Tammy Rivera, Waka Flocker's ex-wife. What a mess! <laughs> Number 13, Kim versus Courtney. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Ah, uh, sisterly love. One minute they're laughing, the next minute they're slapping each other. Like, what the f is happening? This is crazy. Things between Kim and Courtney have always been a little contentious, and we've been able to witness their spats live, first through Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and now with Hulu's The Kardashians. But all true KUWTK fans remember the exact moments when those petty sisterly spats turned violent. Don't ever come at me like that. Don't, I swear to God, I'll punch you in your face. So do it. Don't f*** with me. I swear do to God. Do it already. In the first episode of the series 18th season, Kim and Courtney finally come to blows. Okay, stop, you too. Okay, stop. <laughs> The fight starts off pretty cringy, with neither sister really landing a strong punch. But Kim definitely gets the better of court in the end, issuing a lethal looking slap. You don't don't stop. Ever! Guys, stop it! Take your nails in me! You guys, stop! <gasps> Courtney! Courtney! <laughs> you guys, stop it! Don't do that to each other! Number 12, Shangela versus Mimi. 
RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked. You told them you could do glamour and you were high fashion. So do you feel that you deliver that today? That's the question. On the third season of RuPaul's Drag Race, Shangela and Mimi I'm First got into it when the other queens made some comments about Mimi's outfits, accusing her of not having the range needed to be the ultimate drag queen. Mimi claps back and ends up telling Shangela that she looks like a Judy Jetson hooker, before implying that she has a sugar daddy who pays for all her outfits. Yeah, not a good move. I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Baby, everything I've had, I've worked for. In retaliation, Shangela throws her drink at Mimi, which leads to another drink being thrown in return. A good reminder to all of us to never make fun of a queen's outfit and to never spread petty rumors. I should not have said that to her. It just escalated out of control. Number 11, Sharon versus Fifi. RuPaul's Drag Race. Sometimes helping out your competitor can lead to a little beef. After Sharon Needles wins a challenge, Fifi O'Hara, who helped pick out Sharon's outfit for the challenge, feels that she deserves some kind of kudos for Sharon's win. I picked out a character for you to sit there and do, and you did it great. You obviously won the goddamn challenge. Because, because, because of, of me. Because I told you hmm. to go in your closet and dig out that goddamn gothic look. The argument only grows more heated and quickly escalates into name calling and yelling. In our minds, Fifi more than wins this drag fight and leaves Sharon semi-speechless with one of her best reads we've ever heard. Go back to Party City where you belong. Yeah, if someone said that to us, we might just dig a hole and stay there forever. But not Sharon, she went on to win the season. Any one of us deserved that crown. Maybe me a little more. Number 10, Christy versus Leslie. Dance Moms. Christy is so full of herself that she needs to just shut up and be grateful for what Abby does for her and her child. Note to self, never piss off a dance mum. During a trip to Louisiana for the girls to attend the Masters of Dance Arts New Orleans Invitational, moms Christy and Leslie have a little too much fun in the Big Easy. Drinks are flowing. You know, we have one or two, but Christy has been drinking all day and Leslie has been drinking all night. After a few drinks, the two mothers start to brawl on the streets of NOLA. You know what that means? We're back to throwing drinks again. Bitch! The fight is short and vicious to the point that a security guard has to step in, but what security guard could ever stop a dance mom? Number 9, Danielle versus Teresa, the Real Housewives of New Jersey. We've all heard the phrase, the slap heard around the world, but what about the table flip? Teresa acted like a freaking caged animal at the zoo. I mean, tables need to be thrown at me because I got... I, I had a book written about me. That honor belongs to Teresa Judice of the Real Housewives of New Jersey fame. During a dinner party, Teresa became upset with another cast member, Danielle Staub. When Danielle asked Teresa to please pay attention during an argument, Teresa, no stranger to overreaction, found this to be incredibly insulting. Here I am throwing a dinner party and then she tries to disrespect me in front of my friends. I was just so, so, so done with her. So much so that she flipped the table on everyone, literally. It's an iconic moment in not just Housewives history, but reality TV in general. I mean, she's a hot little Italian tempered girl. All us Italians maybe have it somewhere. Number eight, Olivia versus Tracy. Jersey Licious. There's something about a fight in a Sonic parking lot that just feels incredibly New Jersey. And the fight between Olivia and Tracy likewise lives up to the state's reputation for combative confrontations. No! Touch my hair! You can rip it out, sweetheart! First of all, my hair is this length! You're no, so like there, honey! Come at me, please! The two trade barbs like no other, but once Tracy spits in Olivia's face, things get real. <laughs> Come at me. 
The altercation turns physical and incredibly violent at, well, sonic speed. Even though the two are quickly separated, they don't cool off one bit, continuing to yell at each other across the parking lot. All this over a stupid guy. You're so f obsessed with him! Or you, you wouldn't be here! You're a spiteful, conniving, revengeful bitch! No! Number 7. Tyra vs Tiffany, America's Next Top Model Ah, the scene that birthed a thousand memes. We can smell reality TV history coming. On the fourth cycle of America's Next Top Model, Tiffany Richardson had been struggling for a few weeks by the time she was cut. However, when she didn't seem sufficiently broken up about her elimination, Tyra called her back for a scolding. Tiffany, I'm extremely disappointed in you. This is a joke to you. You've been through anger management. You've been through your grandmother getting her lights turned off to buy you a swimsuit for this competition. And you go over there and you joke and you laugh. Richardson tried to defend herself, stating she was just tired of crying about things she couldn't change. And that is when Tyra went ballistic. I don't have a bad attitude. Maybe I am angry inside. I've been through stuff, so I'm angry. Yes, but it's not, this is not, be okay, quiet, but Tiffany. Everybody be quiet! Listen. That's what is I'm wrong with you. Act, you're Stop not it! She launched into a furious tirade, the likes of which we haven't seen before or since on the runways of Top Model. 10 reality TV points to you if you can quote the whole monologue. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! Number 6. Morgan vs Mystique – RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked She was talking shit in that room about me and about her, and I don't put up with it. I don't start drama, I end it. More famous last words, Morgan. On the second season of RuPaul's Drag Race, Morgan and Mystique got into it after Morgan insulted Mystique's makeup. I, I can fight. I, I, I can start a fight. Probably not a great move on her part, but it did give us one of the best reality TV confrontations ever. The two never actually exchange blows, but Mystique's comebacks are more than worth the price of admission, particularly that infamous line. Bitch, I am from Chicago. I don't gotta hit your ass and so probably get voted up, bitch. That line certainly speaks for itself and cements this fight as one of the greatest. Number 5. Joe Gorga vs. Joe Judice, Real Housewives of New Jersey we wonder why so many of these fights seem to take place in New Jersey. Something to unpack for later. But for now, let's zero in on a fight between not the ladies of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, but the men. Or more accurately, the Joes. When Joe Gorga insulted his sister Teresa Judice, her husband Joe Judice didn't take to that insult too kindly. Joe. He just called me scum. I want to leave. Please, please. No, 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 Joe, I'm going to tell him to apologize. What happens next goes from 0 to 60 so quickly, blink, and you might miss it. The Joes go ballistic, going fighting hard and dirty, while everyone around them screams and tries to break it up. At that moment, I had 10 years of anger and hatred coming out. In the end, Melissa summed up everyone's thoughts on the situation. This is the absolute worst that it can get. We've hit rock bottom. I'm done! Number 4. Christina vs Julie – Bad Girls Club Sometimes you just don't get along with the people, but that doesn't mean you have to say it to their face. All I said was that you were fake. Like, I didn't even get into the, the fact that you look like Jafar and your eyebrows need to be waxed. In season 9 of Bad Girls Club, Christina decided to confront her enemy in the house, Julie, for calling her fake. Despite Christina's aggressive approach, Julie responds with a very calm, Bitch, I don't like you. And bitch, I don't like you neither. Put on my face. Unfortunately, things escalate from there. Both girls get in more than a few punches before security gets involved, leaving them both looking worse for wear. Trust us, you'll have to see the way these hands are flying to believe it. This fight is one for the books. Look at your f***ing hand on the floor, bitch. Look at your face. Look My face so cute, bitch. Number 3. The Situation vs Ronnie – Jersey Shore Alternate title, The Situation vs A Wall, and The Wall won. 
After finding out, the situation told Sammy, Ronnie's girlfriend, that Ronnie had had a few girls come over to the house days before. Ronnie exploded. <laughs> It wasn't pretty, and it ended up with the two guys being physically pinned by security. But even wilder was the lead-up to the physical brawl. As Ron tore about the bedroom, something switched in the sitch. We can't really say what it was, but he started to go a little cuckoo bananas, to put it nicely. Yeah, you wanna hit me? You wanna hit me? You wanna hit me? You wanna hit me, tough guy? After screaming and hitting himself, he then finally decides to headbutt not Ronnie, but a wall. That's right, a wall. And that's what we call using your head. Are you okay? Are you go to the hospital? Oh, yeah, you should. Number two, pumpkin versus New York. Flavor of love. Some of the girls feel like automatically I have an advantage over them because I'm awesome and you know I like I totally have it going on. New York may have gotten the last laugh, but Pumpkin's the one who went down in reality TV infamy. During one of the final Flavor of Love eliminations, Pumpkin was sent home in lieu of New York. New York could not contain her glee at seeing one of her bitter rivals go home and started to run her mouth a bit. I love you. Get her out of here. Okay, Actually, gone. I can stop the shit. Yeah, out of here Do I'm it! Slap me, bitch! Eventually, Pumpkin couldn't take it and spit directly onto New York's face. From here, things unfold just as you might expect. A lot of pushing, a lot of hair grabbing, and name calling. But hey, it's kind of understandable. After all, who wants to be spit on by a pumpkin? Oh. What? She oh. spit in my oh. face! I don't play that shit! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Pedro vs. Chantel's brother, 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After. That's what we call keeping it in the family. What you say? Shut up, shut up. What you say? What you say? What you say? What you say? Natalie vs. Amber, Love Games, Bad Girls Need Love Too. Bad girls, good fights. What the hell is wrong with these girls? I have to go and grab Natalie. I don't know what the hell is going on. All I know is I might have to choke out a girl and I don't want to do that. She called her a dude. <laughs> Jade vs. Alyssa, RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked. Body shaming is never cool. Girl, you had rolls all over the place in the back. It was disgusting. Back rolls. This this little queen is trying to really come for me today. Megan versus Rima and Fallon. Bad girls club. You got something to say? Say it to someone's face. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Naya vs Johnny – The Real World – Portland Welcome to your number one entry, better known as one of the most Looney Tunes things that has ever happened on a reality TV show. Well, you bigger than that, though. I am, I am, and that's why I'm about to knock this out. Towards the end of the real world Portland, Naya and Johnny attempt to talk through their issues. But as these things usually go, things do not end all hunky-dory for the pair. Play with me if you want to. She can get real serious, real mother fast. I will play with you. And you will lose. Yeah. Dare you do. Naya starts to beat up on Johnny and eventually goes after him with a blow dryer, which causes his girlfriend Avery to jump to his defense. The blow dryer moment really might be one of the most jaw dropping moments in all of the real world and in all of TV history. Naya, you wanna go? Do you wanna go? That's it. Let's go. Let's go. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.